In the top stories, government addressing water shortage issues, Caribbean Center of Excellence in Research, Innovation and Workforce Training project launched, and Prime Minister Drew makes rounds in St. Peter's. The details on these stories and more after the break. Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Channel 5 newscast. I'm Carla Barrage. Efforts are being made to address the dire water situation in St. Kitts. On Tuesday, the Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, told journalists about the government's plans to bring relief to consumers. We have sent around the water trucks. We have um, a number of water trucks that we use all the time. The other thing that we do, the third thing that we do, is that we have drilled in Kayon. We'll continue to drill, and when we leave Kayon, we're going to fix the matter up at um, Shadwell. And then the other matter is the desalination. We have now broken ground for the desalination plant by the UAE in the, the beach in Canada Estate that has started, and we have also started the two million gallon. Um, desalination plan. The discussions are in the final stages that will be built close to the port at the industrial site. So we are in this stage. So we have taken those measures. People might ask, why is it it hasn't happened as yet? Remember these things take planning and there was very little planning, hardly any planning. If anything, we have to start from scratch almost. All less done to get these things done. And therefore, I want to say that we'll see those things start rolling out in the very near future. But I do understand what the people are going through. Dr. Drew was speaking during his April 9th edition of the Roundtable, where he also made mention of plans to establish a water tank factory in the country. It will be a public-private partnership. A local private company has approached the government and approached NHC to put together almost an agreement so that that private company can make the investments in these water tanks, which will see a significant drop in the price for the tanks and also that company envisage that it can sell, that it will be able to sell these tanks to the OECS as well. So that we are in, the AG, NHC, and the private company um, uh, you know, representative, the company's representative, they met and they are working out the agreement. So I, I only speak of things when they are almost certain to happen, right? And I can say that with certainty that they have met, and from our side, I know the government, well, at least NHC will be moving forward. Prime Minister Drew pointed to some of the reasons he said have contributed to the dire water situation. That the water situation that we are facing in St. Kitts and Nevis is not unique to St. Kitts and Nevis. We are seeing decreased rainfall as a result fundamentally of climate change. But the climate change that has always been spoken about is upon us. It is here. And we have to make sure that we adapt to the change. So it will require for us to change the way in which we handle water. And at this point, I want to encourage our citizens to not waste water. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Honorable Dr. Terence Drew. The Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College has partnered with Green Solutions International SKN Incorporated to launch the Caribbean Center of Excellence in Research, Innovation and Workforce project on Tuesday. President of the CFBC, Andrew Abraham, spoke of the impact of the center for the college and national development. The establishment of the Caribbean Center of Excellence positions CFBC as a regional leader in renewable energy education and innovation. By providing cutting edge training and certification through NAPSEP, we empower our graduates with the skills and knowledge 
necessary to meet the growing demands for renewable energy solutions in the Caribbean. Furthermore, this initiative fosters collaboration between academia, industry, and government, driving economic growth and sustainability across the region. Looking ahead in the long term, the impact of this project extends far beyond our college campus. By nurturing a generation of skilled professionals and innovators, innovators in renewable energy, we contribute to the resilience and prosperity of our nation and the wider Caribbean community. Project lead Fitzroy Wilkin told of the makeup of the participants, noting that more representation is needed and that the project is intended to become a program offered in the future. Of the 15, we have persons who are trained, experienced in teaching electrical and electronics, persons in the automotive vehicle field. We have selected persons who had exposure to engineering in renewable energy and some small business slash private sector persons. We have, unfortunately, one female and this is a concern for us. Right. <laughs> um, I should also say that that one female is from Nevis. All right. So it is our intention that when we are offering the second cohort to be a little more aggressive in ensuring that we have more representation from the female gender. Of course, we know there's a stereotype it in St. Kitts Nevis when it comes to training. And I think CFBC has to play a part in breaking that stereotype, in thinking that there are some courses that are for men and there are some for women. Director of Green Solutions International, SKN Incorporated, Dr. Wayne Archibald, spoke of the vision for the Center of Excellence. Our vision for the Center is both ambitious and firmly rooted in the pressing needs of our region. It stands as a beacon of progress dedicated not only to groundbreaking research, but also as a central hub for training and certification. Our aim is to cultivate a skilled workforce primed to confront the challenges and to seize the opportunities that lie ahead of us. The Caribbean Center of Excellence in Research, Innovation and Workforce Training Project has a particular focus on solar PV installation and electric vehicles, EV maintenance and repairs. It will be located at the CFBC TVEMS division. Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew made a few stops to areas within the St. Peter's community ahead of a meeting of the Cabinet on Monday. First, Prime Minister Drew visited the construction site in St. Peter's, where work is being carried out on the rehabilitation of the St. Peter's Main Road and F.T. William Highway East project. He was provided with an update on the project by Alexis Hazel, owner of Rock and Dirt Limited. Dr. Drew then stopped by the St. Peter's Community Center, where a group of young children are positively engaged in painting activities as part of an ongoing Easter camp. The Prime Minister interacted with the campers and encouraged them to learn as much as they can. Dr. Drew also visited the St. Peter's Health Center to help spread a little cheer to patients and medical staff there. Refurbishment continues at the Health Center. After the break, Sea Cadet Training Camp opens and Cradle's Learning Center receives smart electronics. Stay with us. We've been working to bring you our most reliable internet ever. And today, we are very excited to offer Geek Speed on Flow's Fiber Powered Network. The best entertainment experience in St. Kitts and Nevis. And plans that give you everything you need. It's a new flow and it's all inspired. And it's all inspired. And it's all inspired. And it's all inspired by you.
Get ready for April Tools Month at Hosford's Building and Nevis Centers. We're slashing prices on tools all month long for the entire month of April. Enjoy a fantastic 25% off on all tools store-wide. From power drills to hand saws, wrench sets to tape measures, we've got everything you need to tackle your home improvement projects with ease. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to stock up on high quality tools at unbeatable prices. Visit Hospice Building Center and Nevis Centers today and take advantage of April Tools Month. Transform your projects from maybe someday to done today. Hospice Building and Nevis Centers, your trusted partners in home improvement. Hurry in while supplies last. Offer value for the entire month of April. See stores for details. Can I get a wow? It's the sound you'll make when you get all alone from a place you once knew to a dream home come true. Wow! For a home like new. Wow! It's the effect you'll get when you upgrade your home. Upgrade, improve, enhance your home with National Bank's Wow Mortgage for the effect you'll get when you upgrade your home. Lowest interest rate guaranteed and the most favorable terms. It's wow Mortgage, can I get a wow? Healthwise on Zariza TV, Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Hosted by Dr. Malik Lescott, Dr. Jollett Woodley, and Dr. Patrice Lawrence. Welcome back. St. Kitsar Nevis Defense Force Coast Guard Unit is hosting its first Sea Cadet Easter Camp from Monday 8th to April 19th at the Coast Guard base. Over the next two weeks, approximately 50 of the recruits will explore new information and advanced techniques. Areas to be covered include nautical terminology, swimming evolution, drills, first aid, extinguishing agents and firefighting, basic navigation equipment, knots and splices, and more. The recruits have covered basic information and techniques since the Corps was formed in October last year. During a ceremony at the Coast Guard Training Facility, Officer in Charge of the Coast Guard Unit, Captain Kentish Garnett, welcomed the participants. I take this opportunity to wish all the college success during their two weeks of training and hope they all progress to the official graduation and launch of the program. To you, the cadets, the difference between a pass and a failure is the extra time you put into your work. As my professor always said, go out and do great things. Lieutenant Colonel J. Anthony Comrie, commander of the St. Kitts News Defense Force, noted that the group was formed to meet the government's mandate for the Defense Force to positively impact the nation's youth to counter antisocial elements. As such, discipline and leadership are key training objectives for all cadets. We are using prominent persons in society who would have passed through that, um, that the cadets prior to being success in, in, in the career. And we are speaking to people like Peter Jenkins, Dr. Martin, Dr. Archibald, and even our National Security Advisor. And they claim that their success was built on the leadership and grounding that they got in the cadets. So we are hoping to replicate that here. We think that the cadets is a good opportunity to point young people in the right direction to become productive and decent citizens. Recruits will be assessed from April 17th to 19th based on the information covered. Successful recruits will graduate as sea cadets, after which the program will be officially launched. In a gesture aimed at enhancing early childhood education, the Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions has generously donated a smart board to the Cradles Learning Center. The brief ceremony, which took place on Monday, marked a significant contribution to the educational development of young learners. General Manager of CCCU, Denise Garfield, highlighted the importance of listening to the needs of the community and taking proactive steps to address them. Last year, the Board of Directors of the Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions took a decision to get more involved in the community that we are physically based in. We met with 
the team here at Cradles. We asked them what their needs were. We prioritized. And one of those priority was getting a smart board to teach the children. As such, we are grateful, we are very happy to present the smart board to the Cradles Learning Center. Director of the Early Childhood Development Unit, Kimona Brown, extended sincere appreciation to CCCU for its contribution. Today, we gather not only to celebrate the growth and progress of this center, but also to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the Caribbean Fed Confederation of Credit Unions for their invaluable contribution. This generous donation has arrived at a crucial time, enabling us to enhance the learning environment for our young leader learners. This support reaffirms the power of collaboration and highlights the importance of community partnerships in nurturing the potential of our children. Teacher at Cradles Learning Center Khadija Molly also expressed gratitude to CCCU. To Caribbean Confederation of Credit Union, we sincerely appreciate your kind and generous donation to the children. This 55-inch smart TV and interactive whiteboard enables us to further engage our students in active participation in not only learning concepts, but as we integrate technology in the classroom, our future leaders will be equipped with the skills necessary to navigate a world that is becoming more effective and efficient in productivity driven by advanced this donation from the CCCU is said to represent a significant milestone in the journey of Cradle's nursery towards excellence in education. Dr. David Doyle, Ambassador Permanent Delegate of St. Kitts and Nevis to UNESCO, paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew on Monday 8th April at the Prime Minister's office. Dr. Doyle used the opportunity to update the Prime Minister on the wide-ranging UNESCO projects that are being implemented across St. Kitts and Nevis, among other things. Permanent Secretary in the Prime Minister's office, Glenroy Blanchett, was also present in Monday afternoon's meeting. Come up in regional news.